Hey guys, welcome back to Rangework Wednesday. This week we are finally doing El Presidente. El Pres is from 10 yards. We've got three USPSA targets here. We're gonna start facing up range with our hands in a surrender position with our gun loaded. We're gonna start here once the beep goes, we're gonna turn around and we're going to deliver two shots per target and then we're gonna perform a mandatory reload and then two shots per target. Uh, from my understanding, 10 seconds used to be speedy, but these days, like a super spicy drill from what I know is about four seconds. I am not at all in that four seconds range. This is gonna be the first time I'm doing this really at all, but definitely the first time I'm doing that with uh, my new Walther that I'm starting to work with for competition. Uh, so I'm going to try to accomplish this in eight seconds or less. We'll see how it goes. better okay that was that was in 10 seconds that was just over 10 seconds 10.15 but I definitely can do that faster uh, so one thing that I did that I kind of wondered if I was gonna do that and I need to not do it is I treated every target like it was like two shots instead of I'm doing six shots so instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six. It was one, two, three, four, five, six. So on this one, I'm going to try to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Think of it like six instead of two. Ah, I really opened up my available aiming area there, but. We've, def we've got a Charlie and a Delta and a Charlie close Delta, basically Delta, but we did it in under seven seconds. So 6.85. Okay. Now oh, that was a little bit slower, a little bit cleaner. 7.36. I treated it like two, 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 two instead of six. And that did not pay off very well. And that was my first time running through El Perez, especially doing El Perez with this gun. And I'm really glad to have done it and done it a couple of times in order to kind of establish where I'm at. Like I'm just starting with this gun and this kind of setup. And so I'm glad to have kind of established where I'm at with El Perez. And now I can come back and try it a couple months from now and see kind of how far I can take it after spending some time with this gun uh, in competition and dry fire and live fire. Uh, so again, glad to establish that. One of the things that is great about El Prez is that you can break it down into its individual pieces, both in dry fire and in live fire. So that's something that I'm planning to continue working on is isolating each individual thing. There's so many things you're doing in this drill and you can isolate them down. So you can isolate from, you know, starting here and just turning around and getting to your gun. You can isolate the six shots. You can isolate your reload, six shots. Those are all things that you can kind of break down into one piece and then bring it all together in El Perez. So thanks guys for watching Rangework Wednesday. I'm not sure what we're doing yet next week, but I'll see you then.